Hey party people, welcome to another episode of Detail Darren. This is a common household product. Often people will default to it to wash the car. The question then becomes, will it actually damage a car paint? There's many opinions out there, as many opinions that are in favor of the soap, you will find just as many opinions that are not in favor because they say it will damage your car paint. Let me answer three specific questions. First off, will this destroy your paint? Will it damage your paint? No, it won't. I don't care what you hear. I don't care where you see it. It will not damage your paint. Secondly, if it doesn't damage your paint, why would you want to use this? Well, the simple answer is you may have this around the house already. You accept that you wanna wash your car and you know that it will be effective. So that's why you would wanna use it. Thirdly, if you want to strip the wax or sealants or you have some kind of greasy whatever on your car paint, then yes, you may want to default to this. So with all that said, let me rewind a little bit and clarify a few terms for greater understanding, which is one of my issues with all these videos and these websites and all this information that you can find for free on the internet. So will this damage your paint? As I said, the simple answer is no. The greater question then becomes, okay, if it doesn't damage your paint, then why do so many people warn against using Dawn dishwashing soap to wash your car with? Well, this is what's considered a grease cutter. So to clarify for you, there are two types of dirt. Water soluble dirt in the form of dust, soil, road dirt, and then grease, oil, tar based types of dirt. This is a grease cutter. That's why it's very effective when you're washing your dishes in your house, because much of the food that you consume is going to have healthy amounts of oils and grease in them. So if you try to wash your dishes with a soap that is not considered a grease cutter, it's not going to prove to be very effective. Now you bring it out into the driveway. Now you want to wash your car. Well, that's where you need to understand that most of the dirt that you will find on your car is essentially water soluble dirt in the form of normal dirt, traditional dirt or dust. So even straight water, would dissolve and break down that type of dirt. So you don't need to overthink it, which is why this will not damage your paint, but it will damage. And by damage, I mean remove progressively, the more you use it, any type of protection that you have applied to your car paint in the form of wax or car paint sealant. That's where the confusion lies. That's why people will often embellish or make something that's this small into something that big, over dramatize it and say, oh my gosh, don't use Dawn dishwashing soap on your car because it's going to damage it. It will progressively move more and more sealants, waxes that are on your car. So if you were to use this repeatedly on your hands, let's say a hundred times, you would find that it would pretty severely dry out your hands. Well, if you apply that same concept to your car paint, it will continue to dry it out. And by drying it out, I mean remove any form of protection whatsoever on it. Therein lies the big rub, no pun intended. That would be the reason you would not want to use this. If you want to retain any form of protection on your car paint, do not default to this. But like I said, you may want to for whatever reason, maybe you have some tree sap, pollen, whatever that your traditional dedicated car wash shampoo does not seem to be effective with. So you could default to something like this, really clean your car, as in remove the dirt and remove any type of grease oil based products with the understanding that you will need to apply some form of protection following your car wash duties. Third, why else would you possibly want to use Dawn dishwashing soap? Well, let's say that you have some wax or sealant on your car. You want to remove that before you apply a different version, a different brand on it, and you kind of are going into freak out mode mentally, and you think, oh, I want to make sure I strip all that wax. Well, this product is actually very useful for that. But 
you need to understand not all car waxes and car paint sealants are created equal, which means this. Some of them will actually break down at different rates based on the formulation of the car wax or the car paint sealant. You just don't know until you know. This is effective at removing those, but you're not necessarily gonna be able to remove every single version in just one washing, but it will be effective in doing it. So that's the other reason you may want to employ the use of a grease cutting dish soap rather than a dedicated car wash soap. But the rule is this, when it comes to washing your car, if you accept that the bulk of the dirt is water soluble, you don't need to overthink it with some type of grease cutting formulation. What you're gonna be more concerned about is dedicated car wash soaps. They're dedicated for your car because most of them could just contain fragrances and colors that are very appealing to the senses, but they, they have lubricants in them. Lubricants in the form of silicon, silicones or whatever else they put in those formulations that will help lubricate the dirt, encapsulate the dirt, so that the washing experience is more friendly to your car paint rather than less friendly. They're not gonna have surfactants that have grease cutters in them. So that's where the trade-off is, but you just need to understand the differences. Am I really washing my car because it just has traditional dirt on it? Therefore, I don't need to overthink it. Therefore, you can default to a dedicated car wash shampoo. Or in fact, is there some wax or sealants that I wanna remove? Is there some grease or road tar that I want to remove? That's where you would default to something like this. So with that said, I will end there. You can leave me comments below. Let me know what you think. Hopefully I've clarified some bad information that you may have heard and I will end this. It's not going to destroy your car paint. I don't care what anyone says. Yes, you could argue it's going to progressively dry out your clear coat. The more you use it, the more frequently you use it. I would agree with that, but that's the debate that you guys can have and engage with me in the comments below. With that said, I will see you in the very next video.